What's up everybody? So I just received my Iron Man 4x4 rooftop tent and we're gonna go ahead and unbox that and the awning that came with it. So this awning here came with the tent. It was a deal. It's usually an $899 awning, but when coupled with the Nomad 1300 tent, it was free. This is what it looks like on the pallet, first impressions. Looks pretty clean. I really like the matte finish and looks a lot thinner than a lot of my friend's rooftop tents. So we'll continue when we get to the install portion. So the actual process of mounting the tent was pretty simple. We put it on the roof, kind of measured out where we wanted it to sit, marked it with a pencil, and would come back later on to mount it to the crossbars. We figured that taking the crossbars off and mounting them to the tent and then mounting the crossbars back onto the roof rack was the easiest way to go about mounting it. Otherwise you'd have to get your hand in some pretty tricky positions to get there and tighten the screws while it was actually on the roof. So here you can see the actual mounting mechanism and how it should work. There's basically just a clasp that will fit onto the crossbar. That little plastic piece is a spacer to help if your crossbar is not actually thick enough to fully reach the mount. So we've, I missed the last part of actually mounting the tent, but here you can see that it is fully mounted and this is our first time opening it up. If you do open it in the garage, make sure not to back out with the tent. My buddy here had actually done that prior and had to buy some fiberglass patches later on to fix that. So the tent's all mounted, but I noticed some issues right off the bat. Uh, first, if you can see down through here, that clearance is very close to where it's almost touching my roof. It's also very hard with how close it is to get to the actual tent straps and close the tent up and get it pretty tight. And also because it's so close, the hinge here comes pretty close when it opens up and starts to rub onto the roof rack itself. So because of this, I'm gonna try ordering what I'm about to throw up on screen right now and hope that it solves some of the problems that I just mentioned and I'll update you after that. All right, so the awning brackets just arrived and the mounting mechanism for these is they're supposed to sit on your roof rack crossbars and they use these uh, these U-bolts here to go around the crossbars. Now, unfortunately, these U-bolts are not gonna be wide enough for the print suit rack. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and source some, some carriage bolts, which look like, let me grab one real quick, which look like this. And so what these bolts do is they slide in to the print suit rack and we're just gonna use 
three on each side. We'll get some longer ones and we'll use that to, to get these awnings stuck on here. So it's been three weeks and the brackets finally came in the mail. Shout out to Prinsu for kind of ridiculous lead times, but I'll give them a pass since I know everything's still kind of fucked up. Luckily they came one day before I leave for a camping trip, so we're gonna try to get both these and the awning mounts on tonight since it is raining here. So the awning would be a big help to have. And while we're on that note, I've also been living with the most horrendous squeaking you could have ever heard. If you get a Prinsu roof rack, highly recommend getting the tent spacing mounts, which I don't even know if they'll work yet, but I sure hope they do because the squeaking is, it sounds like I have a load of turkeys on my roof. Uh, I'll see if I can insert a video here to illustrate that. Right now we're gonna go run to Home Depot. We're gonna see if we can pick up some extra carriage bolts just so we can mount that awning the way we want to mount it instead of with the brackets that came with it. So as I just mentioned, the tent when I originally mounted it was actually sitting flush across the entire roof rack, meaning the tent was touching every crossbar on my roof rack which led it to squeak on the tiniest of every single bump on the road. So thank God these spacers actually did manage to fix that. Now here's just a quick look at the mounting mechanism for the awning. Those bolts just slide in the side similar to the crossbars on the roof rack. As you can see we put some butyl rubber strips there on those mounts to make sure that there was no vibration and no squeaking that could possibly come from those as they would be in direct contact with the crossbars. That butyl rubber was like $10, $15 on Amazon so highly recommend that. Now here's just a quick view of how we actually mounted it onto that roof rack without using the initial hardware. It's just those carriage bolts, some washers, and some nuts that fit those bolts. Here you also have the pleasure of watching us realize that we put the awning on the, uh, the wrong side of the car. So had to go and swap that to the other side of the car real quick. Didn't record most of that, but here we are tightening it down. This is a quick look at the awning spacers. Those bolts across the crossbars are pretty difficult to tighten down. You gotta get a wrench in there somehow, but 
you want to make sure you're doing that before you put it on the roof or it's going to be a lot harder. I also do recommend using moving blankets to slide the actual tent around. I took a bit of a gash out of the roof. Fortunately it's not too deep. I may try to take some paint match to that just to fix it up make sure it doesn't rust. The other option is also to get a, a winch and hook it to the garage ceiling, which I know a lot of people do so that they can remove the tent pretty easily, which would just require removing the crossbars. And here's a quick look at the tent fully mounted on those spacers and the awning fully mounted. Now here's what it looks like fully opened up. It is a pretty sleek design and pretty comfortable. And this is my view in the morning looking out from the tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. It was a little bit shorter and less detailed than I would have liked, but I do plan to do a full review video with all of the features of both the tent and the awning and everything I like and dislike about it here soon. If you do wanna see that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a like. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best that I can. And as always, everybody, thanks for watching, and until next time.